All right. So I found something really interesting today. I went through the uh, entire box of costume jewelry, and a lot of times I guess people will find little pieces of gold or silver in there, maybe a diamond ring. I didn't think I found anything until I was going to put some of the vintage earrings onto little cards and put a price with them. And I didn't think anything of these at first because of this right here. They look newer. So, you know, I just thought it was kind of junk jewelry. Then I was kind of eyeballing and studying at this, thinking, is that part of a spoon? You know, I was looking at it a little bit closer and thought, maybe that's silver, because I think this part is copper. Then I was looking at it a little bit closer, and I was thinking, maybe that's gold. Then I was looking at it even closer, and I was trying to find a mark on it. And the closer I looked at it, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Let's see. It is signed by the artist. You can't quite make it out because of the tarnishing. But it is signed. It is uh, engraved in there. So I am assuming that this part is silver. This part of each earring is gold, obviously gold. I'm not sure what this is. I can't envision them putting copper and then lining it with gold. I, I do see, you know, putting uh, the gold up against silver. I do see that, but this part would not make sense um, unless it's something that the artist liked, the artist wanted to do. That would make sense to me. But it was this that threw me off. I think somewhere along the line someone replaced it because these look very vintage to me. So that's a possibility. But examining them closer just to make sure that um, they weren't fooling me. Of course I did the magnet test. Does not stick. See, falls right off. So then I looked at them even closer and I compared the gold lining around it. And as you can see, for instance, this is a gold blob here. On this particular one, it's cleaner. It's completely different. Same thing is true for right here and compared to here. So you can also see it around the bottoms of the earrings here. They are a little different. And I'll see if I can zoom in even closer on this portion of the earring differs from this earring so they are lined with that differently so I am assuming that these are one-of-a-kind earrings I cannot make out the artist's signature. There is some other sort of marking, and I don't know if it says gold and, and silver or what it says, but, and I can't make out this etching on there. Tomorrow I'm going to take these to a pawn shop just to uh, have it tested. They are really beautiful earrings, and I really would hate to scrap these. If I could make out the artist, I would probably try them on eBay, uh, but depending on what the pawn shop would offer for scrap, I know they'd have to pull it apart and everything. These 
possibly could be quite valuable. Uh, and I might take the money, but it is such a shame to scrap because they are very unique. But we'll see what happens. I just wish I could make out that signature on there. And you know, to my thinking is, why would someone go to the trouble on costume jewelry to etch a signature into it? I'm pretty sure that's gold. I'm pretty sure that is. Almost looks like a soldering iron. Like it was soldered on there. I wonder what that metal is. I know that isn't there like a some type of a a gold that comes off a different color like that. Not sure if that's copper or what that is. Yeah, so I'll take them tomorrow to get looked at, and we'll see what the verdict is. I'll do one more turnover of these for marks, because I think they are both marked, I think. Yeah, see, it's like at one time they probably sat in an antique shop, because there is uh, another mark right here. You could see where a, a sticker was at. And there's a mark here, and uh, th these are etchings, and it's marked here. Looks like they had a sticker over it. And then I'm not quite sure what this is here. So, I mean, these are, are very unique. I wonder how much gold, if in fact that is gold, which I'm fairly sure it is. I wonder how much gold that is on there. These are... Let's see if I have a tape measure. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, well I don't have a tape measure. So to give you an idea, this is a tea light candle. So I'm gonna place the tea light candle next to the earring so you can get an idea of how big the earrings are. So they're pretty good size, right? Magnet does not stick at all to any portion of it whatsoever so get it real good in the light here really bohemian I would probably say at, at first I was thinking oh that's um, an 80's thing I would probably say these might be mid to late 60s. And they've got pretty good weight. Those could be a good payoff right there. All right, I'll do a video and update um, once I get them looked at.